Hey, Nikki, um, this is a video to help you get your Shiro Bliss assembled from out of the box. So I unpack everything. You'll have main box here. And the first thing would be to put the legs on. So you'll have two of these. And what happens is this pin slips into one of the holes. And depending on which hole you slip it over, the system will get higher or you know taller or shorter. So this is tall and, and this is short. Once you do that, once you pick a height, you'll find these leg knobs in the little goodie bag, the little Ziploc bag that's included. Um, and you'll see the pin in this hole. Just count up two and fish, fish for it a little bit, and you'll find that this will screw in. And notice that this is on its back. Um, that's a, a really nice way to do it. If there's oil in the machine, you put it on its back, it can, it can leak oil. So... Um, uh, there's another way to do this that I'll show you in a second. So the whole point of adjusting this leg height is to get the bowl either higher or lower. And what we're trying to do is minimize the drop of the oil from the Shiro pillow into the bowl. So then there's less splashing and less noise. Okay, the other way to adjust the leg height is if your system has oil in it, you want to do a quick adjustment. It's standing here on the floor. You can just set it up on your knee like this, and then you can spin this off and adjust the leg plate the way that you want. Like so, one, two, slip that in and screw it down. So the height of this ultimately is dependent on the height of your massage table and how tall you are. So you'll probably find you just have to set the height once when you first put the thing together, um, maybe make an adjustment if it doesn't work out the first time, and then you won't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, now we've got the height set up uh, the way we want it. Um, if you move the machine so that the oil comes off the pillow and sort of hits the side of the bowl, that'll also eliminate dripping. So another technique would be to put a wooden spoon in the bowl and let the oil hit the wooden spoon and drain down. But most folks will like, um, actually you can let it hit the front of the bowl like this as well. All right, so now we've got that set up. Find your armature, and what you do is you just simply put your armature in there and twist it around so that these holders are facing toward the front of the machine. You'll see why in a sec. And snap this on the top like you would a tent pole. There's a little button here that holds it in place. This swings over the client and then this knob will adjust the height of the armature so that the bowl hangs the desired amount above the client's forehead. I believe it's about four fingers is what they prescribe. Um, all right then, you want to put the bowl down in the warm-up position right here. Uh, there's a little hook on the side of the bowl, corresponds to there. There's a little uh, rest where it rests just like that. Take your lower hose, it's got the valve on it, and snap it into the holder like that. Just be careful that you don't misalign this valve holder up or down. You want it to hit here and here. Um, because if you get it in this wide section right here, sometimes these will snap off. So you just want to line it pretty carefully and snap it in. Then you take your upper hose and you merely insert it in this hole. You'll feel it stop, push it a little farther and it'll sit in there. It's, actually, it's a little easier if it's out of the holder. So there. So here I'm just putting it in and pushing it, and then it'll never come out until you draw back this retainer ring with that way with one hand, and then gently work the hose out that way. If you try and force this, you'll break something. All right, so now that's snapped in, and I'm going to make sure this is a nice arc over to the bowl. That'll save me a lot of problems later, and I'm going to insert the hose into the little tube in the bowl.
Okay, now this aligns with the upper hose holder here really nicely, and I can, I'm ready to add oil, turn on the system, let it warm up, and proceed with my therapy. When it's all warmed up, of course I'll lift the bowl up, I'll gently apply it to the client, and eventually it'll hang here. That's it.